Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Brian Lewis G. Lazaro from Novelata Senior High School and this is my city title, Self-Esteem, Academic Stress, and Exposure to Cyberbullying, a Correlational Predictive Study as a Basis for a Learner Support Program. In February 2020, school closures caused a slew of educational problems and adverse effects on children's learning and well-being due to the pandemic. One of these factors is cyberbullying, which became rampant during these times. The number of victims increased as the use of technology got prominent. In a study of Afsari and others in 2021, it was proven that student safety in online community is at risk. According to them, lack of policies in cyberbullying were seen during the online learning setup. This phenomenon consequently affects the self-esteem of students. In the study of Brewer and Kerslake in 2015, the cyclical nature of cyberbullying depends on the self-esteem of the victim. Moreover, aside from bullying, academic stress seems to be a factor of low self-esteem as well. It was also found in a study that academic stress and self-esteem are inversely correlated. Considering the new normal setup and varying results of key literature, the researcher found the need to address these constructs. This research specifically aims to determine the relationship between these constructs, design a linear regression model, and craft a learner support program. 262 key stage 3 and 4 randomly stratified Noveleta district students participated in the study with a 0.95 power and effect size of 0.2. The study utilized the mixed method of research with a prime focus on the correlational predictive design. Furthermore, the researcher utilized adapted questionnaires for self-esteem and academic stress data collection. The results revealed that the academic stress, self-esteem, and cyberbullying exposure of the respondents have low, moderate, and high levels respectively. Moreover, with a correlation coefficient of 0.174 and 0 0.192, self-esteem and academic stress are directly correlated to cyberbullying exposure. Furthermore, the two variables are significant predictors of the said construct. Several factors affecting self-esteem were also identified. Topping the board were personality and thoughts which the respondents deemed necessary for their self-esteem. However, Four causal factors of cyberbullying were identified as well. These are physical appearance, self-esteem, intellectual ability, and gender orientation. Five coping mechanism themes were derived from the respondents in fighting cyberbullying, namely fronting silence, speaking up, fostering positivity, blocking cyberbullies, and reporting to authority. Using the findings, the researcher proposes Program Axel, a 10-week program which aims to strengthen the school stakeholders' awareness on cyberbullying and how to make the virtual learning community safer and more secure. This study will be beneficial to a number of stakeholders, including parents, teachers, students, and school administrators in developing policies that could eliminate cyberbullying in the school's virtual learning environment. Alright, from this moment on, we can conclude that self-esteem and academic stress are significant predictors of cyberbullying. Both of them are directly correlated to the latter variable. Thus, the researcher recommends the use of Program Axel to strengthen policies and awareness regarding this matter. Again, this is Mr. Brian Lewis G. Lassero from Novelette Senior High School, and this is my study titled Self Esteem, Academic Stress, and Exposure to Cyberbullying A Correlational Predictive Study as a Basis for a Learner Support Program. Thank you for listening to my video.